So Chili and Matthew Lawrence from Boy Meets World both went official on Instagram. The couple have posted Instagram posts with both of them dancing to Take On Me and wearing matching pajamas. Chili captioned her post saying, Onesie gang and we cute. A lot of fans of the Boy Meets World show and TLC wished the 290 icons a great new year and celebrated their relationship with Matthew's former co-star Daniel Fischel even writing in a comment, this makes me very happy. However, this news seems like it was shocking to Matthew's ex-wife Cheryl Burke. She was none too happy with hearing the news. She then shared a story on her Insta story that said, that was fast with the song Boy's a Liar by Pink Panthers playing in the background. Presumably she was talking about the fact that Matthew had moved on so quickly after the divorce. She also posted a couple of TikToks, one saying, when he said he would never talk to her again and you find text messages and a necklace hidden in a pair of shoes. Another one where she was putting on perfume to the Beeb and David Guetta song, I'm Good, with the caption, mood going into 2023. Obviously she was bothered by the news and I'm not sure if we can even blame her, but of course we don't have all the dynamics of what went on. Perhaps in response to Cheryl, Shilly posted a block of text on Instagram as well saying God has perfect timing never early and never late it takes a little patience and a lot of faith Matthew and Cheryl had recently finalized their divorce just over three months prior after nearly three years of marriage there had been a few sightings of Chili and Matthew, even one where they were both spotted on Waikiki Beach. They were getting in the water together and having intense conversation according to onlookers on the beach. We do want to add that a source close to the couple told TMZ that Matthew and Chili knew each other but did not become romantically involved until the actor Matthew and Cheryl had began divorce proceedings. Although the rumors are that they allegedly started dating in March 2022 after connecting at a 1990s nostalgia convention. Although the rumors are that they allegedly started dating in March 2022 after connecting at a 1990s convention. At that point, Matthew and Cheryl were no longer living with each other. Of course we all know, Chili has been in the spotlight for most of her life as a Grammy Award winner of the group TLC. She was literally a teen when she joined TLC. As a result of her being in the spotlight, her entire adult dating history has basically played out for the world to see. At the age of 20, she started dating Dallas Austin who she dated for years. She and Dallas later had a son, Tron Austin, although most people may remember her relationship with Usher. That relationship didn't start until Tron was four years old. In fact, Chili actually left Dallas Austin for Usher. Dallas actually discussed the situation with Angela Yee on her show saying it was one of the most difficult challenges he faced and that he wanted to hurt everybody because he actually was friends with Usher. I've always known Usher. I mean, we've always been around each other. And I never, I never looked at him in that way because he was, you know, he was younger than me. And I was just like, oh, he's so cute. And I just, you know, but he grew up. Boy, did he grow up. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> and, you know, I, I decided to just go ahead and just say forget it and go out with him. And, I mean, I found out that he was such an amazing person. And he is. He, he believes in God. He loves his mother. He loves me, he loves my son, and he is just, he's perfect for me. And I prayed also, you know, I asked God to just send me someone who was perfect for me, in my situation, not anybody else who was just tailor-made for me. And there he was, under my nose the whole time, I didn't even know it. From Usher, she moved on to Nick Cannon, and it also has been confirmed that she dated TJ Holmes. TJ Holmes is the Good Morning American co-host that was recently discovered to be seeing his co-host Amy Robach while married, which is a whole other story. 
But finding the right guy has always been quite the journey for Chili. In fact, she even starred in a 2010 VH1 reality series called What Chili Wants which documented her quest to find the right man. Now, she didn't end up finding her soulmate on there, but that didn't keep her from looking for love. She was also featured on Little Kim's reality TV series, Girl Cruise, where she talked about how she was content with life, whether or not she found her person or not. Also saying, I've been in love, I've had a heartbreak, and I just made a choice not to want to deal with that. I love being a mom and working, and if one day I meet this most amazing man to be a part of my happiness, then that would be amazing. And if not, I'm still good. Chili's rep Crystal Jordan confirmed with TMZ that Chili and Matthew Lawrence are in an exclusive relationship. She also added that the pair has spent Thanksgiving and Christmas together in Atlanta with Chili's family. The rep also mentioned that she had been working with Chili since 2005 and never seen her in this much love. Chili's rep also mentioned that she had been working with Chili since 2005 and never seen her this in love, also mentioning that Chili is glowing. They are really cute together. So I feel as though as long as Matthew and Cheryl um, you know, were going through the divorce proceedings that, you know, it's, it's an okay situation. Um, if it, you know, if the relationship started while they were still together, then, you know, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be good. Um, but I feel like, you know, they waited until the situation with him and his, his wife, you know, were going through the divorce proceedings and then that's when they started dating officially so we are glad to hear that chili has found someone that makes her happy and we wish them all the best i am very picky right and i think everybody should be you know but um here's my issue with the i guess you want to call it dating down i hate that i that do sounds, too i'm not comfortable it sounds with that bad. It makes us mean seem shallow let's just something. talk about scrubs <laughs> for a female no matter how much money you make or not Every woman wants to feel like a princess, you know? And I think that, like, I don't look for a guy to pay my bills. Obviously, I can pay my own bills. I can do Amen. a lot of things for myself. And thank God I'm, I've been blessed. Right. But I would love to be, you know, going on a date with the guy and he pay for it. And Or if we plan a trip together, you know, if I have to pay half, then I need to go on that on that trip with my girlfriend, not a dude. Like, okay. no. I agree. Look, I would pay for it. I mean, I'm just saying. No, you ain't crying. Look at me, please. I'm gonna win it. I'm gonna win it.